Unfortunately, we begin with breaking news on a shooting in New Mexico involving actor Alec Baldwin. Sheriffs say that one person was killed and another was injured when Baldwin fired a prop gun on a movie set. He has not been charged with a crime. He was questioned after yesterday's shooting, and then he was released. The movie cinematographer, 42-year-old Halina Hutchins, died in this incident. Director Joel Souza was treated at a hospital for unspecified injuries. Jonathan Bigliotti is following this story. Jonathan, we saw pictures of Alec Baldwin. He's very distraught, we hear. Good morning. And good morning to you. That's correct. A tragedy and still a mystery. According to Baldwin's spokesperson, the accident occurred when a prop gun with blanks misfired. Sheriffs confirmed the 63-year-old actor was the person who fired the gun. How a movie prop became a deadly weapon is still under investigation this morning. This is the set of the Western Rust Thursday afternoon, the scene of the incident marked off by police tape. Alec, get alert. Alec Baldwin is not only the star, but also the movie's co-producer. That morning, he posted this now deleted Instagram photo of himself in costume with the caption back to in person at the office. Just hours later, he was questioned by sheriffs after shooting a prop gun that injured the film's director, Joel Souza, and killed director of photography, Helena Hutchins. On Tuesday, Hutchins posted this video saying one of the perks of shooting a Western is you get to ride horses on your day off. Sheriffs say she was airlifted to a hospital where she was pronounced dead. Souza was also taken to a hospital. The circumstances of the incident are under investigation. According to movie set gun safety expert Larry Zanoff, a gun loaded with blanks has gunpowder, but should have no projectiles. Still, he says it's potentially dangerous to be within 20 feet of a prop gun when fired. Any of that smoke or powder or that muzzle flash that could affect anyone or anything, Again, we keep a standoff distance of 20 feet in order for there to be no effect on something that's in front of the muzzle. In 1993, actor Brandon Lee was killed on a movie set when he was shot with a gun supposedly loaded with blanks. An autopsy later revealed he was shot by a bullet. And in 1984, actor John Eric Hexum died after he fired a prop Magnum 44 with blanks at his head in a mock game of Russian roulette. We're always concerned with safety on a television and uh, motion picture set, and that's why there's guidelines to follow. And detectives are now investigating how firing the prop gun resulted in death and injury, and they're continuing to interview witnesses. Production, meanwhile, on the film has been halted. Gail. All right, Jonathan, such a tragic, tragic accident. Thank you so much. My first thought when I heard it, number one, it was I thought I was reading it wrong at first when I read it. I thought about Helena Hutchins, of course, and her family. Does she have a partner? Does she have children? It's so tragic. And the director. And then I, my heart goes out to Alec Baldwin. It clearly was an accident. You see him doubled over in pain. How you have to, now he has to live with this. It's just an awful situation for everybody involved in this. Yeah, we know it's rare, yeah. but it does happen. The yeah. unfortunate thing about this tragedy is that it could have been avoided. Mm. Yeah, it would seem so. Uh, Ms. Hutchins uh, had been a journalist in Europe, uh, had mm -hmm. been made a career transition to film, seemed to have a bright future ahead. It is a big mm -hmm. tragedy, big loss. It really is.